Hey Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. All right, let's see. Emperor in reverse. This is what's on your mind. King of Swords in reverse. Wow. Dude, that's like a face-off, man. You're both like pissed off at each other. This person is not communicating with you. They're being very cold, very detached, very icy. You, on the other hand, are being stubborn as fuck. You're just not ready to compromise. More than compromise, I feel you're like, my way or the highway. And they're like, no, my way or the highway. Their ego runs the show. Your rigidity, your stubbornness runs the show out here. That's what's going on. And they're not even communicating with you. You know what I'm getting here? They started it. And hence, you ended it. Something like that, okay? I feel this person did it first. Let's see. Well, I need to see more cards. Oh, man, it was high priest of servers. Wow. You know what? I'm getting you're both in the same energies right now. You're both... Um, now, I'm, what I'm getting here is... One second. What's the hangman in reverse? Hmm. You're not ready to compromise is what I'm getting from your side here, okay? Earlier, I think you were back bending backwards, okay? Bending over backwards to accommodate this relationship, accommodate this connection as much as you could. This person made you wait. This person may put you on hold for a very long time out here, okay? You know, I feel that you're more in your ego right now. That's what I'm getting here. And this person is not trusting their intuition. They have some uh, messages from the spirit you know, from the universe, there's some spiritual guidance that they're getting. Either they're not being the best at interpreting, interpretate, interpretate, what the fuck? Interpretation of the messages is not really working out for them. Or they know what's really going on, but they're choosing to follow their logic or choosing to follow their emotions, which is the ego, rather than following what is the truth out here. In fact, I can't believe I couldn't say that. All right. So that's what I'm getting here. I feel that um, you feel you've been frauded or, you know, you just feel like a victim out here. Okay. This person has put you on hold for a very long time. And I feel you're ready to release this connection. You're ready to let this person go. This person out here, I feel that this person is very scared that if they trust their intuition, if they go within, they're very scared to know the reality. They're very scared to know that they're the ones who are fucking up. Hence, they don't want to get into reality. They don't want to go within and get the answers. They're trying to get answers everywhere, all over the place. But at least for right now, they're choosing their logic over their intuition. Jared, you're preparing to move on. Yeah, you're ready to move on. With this chariot here, I'm feeling like, you know, that inner willingness, strength and determination to move forward, to uh, move away from this person. See, so much release from your side out here, right? Again, why? Because you're like, no, if it's not working my way, I'm, I'm not going to compromise. I'm not meeting you halfway. Because not even, not only halfway, I have met you like the entire way. Okay, you've been... Uh, bending over backwards is what I said for this person on this while. And now you're ready to move forward. It's like, you know, that willingness and strength and determination to move over obstacles going in the right direction. You feel this is the right direction. Maybe it is. Okay. And you're just ready to move forward. Earlier you had those uh, emotions, you know, which were imbalanced out here. But now you know what you want and you're ready to move forward out here. I feel you're in this unstoppable energy. Okay. Where this person could have manipulated you in the past. Okay, they could have stopped you from moving forward or whatever it is, right? But now I feel you've reached a point where it's like nothing can stop you from moving forward. Okay, I think you've given this a lot of time. You've given a lot of energies. You've invested a lot here. Uh, I think earlier you had that lack of direction. Okay, you don't know where they was going. Now you have taken control of your life. You're taking action. You're determined. And it's like two forces are pulling you, you know, in that direction okay you have the willpower to move forward this person out here with the three of swords in reverse here what's this i feel this person wants to reconcile they want to let go of the past and they want to reconcile out here but there's a lot of negative self-talk coming from this person's side let me just check Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. Yeah. See, this person wants to communicate with you. I think this person wants a brand new beginning with you. All right. Uh, this person is very, very close to ending a cycle out here. Whatever it is, I feel this person is in a lot of burden right now. And they're very close to ending a cycle here. Very close. 
just one second just let me take a few and i'm just gonna take a few cards here um you know what i'm a little confused here if this is your energy or the person you're dealing with one second i do kind of know this is you but let's see i hope you guys are my if i push it a little up all right um tell me what's the uh, nine of cups here why is the nine of cups here you seem to be very focused on yourself you know in pursuit of your happiness doing what makes you happy what's the nine of cups here what's the nine of cups yeah see you're very focused on your career your goals your money you're absolutely choosing to move away from this person what's the hangman in reverse hangman in reverse <laughs> yeah see this person is emotionally unavailable right or you could this could be you you know who's emotionally unavailable you're being manipulative honestly to be very honest you could be a little manipulative out here you're not being able to master your emotions right now you know like if you would have mastered your emotions if you had that balance in your emotions right now you wouldn't have been leaning on to one side there's an imbalance here okay so usually the king of cups is someone who's got that mental and emotional balance out here okay you on the other hand, either you're being too emotional or you're being too logical out here, which is why you're like, you know what, either you're saying, fuck it, I'm moving on, or you're like, you know what, no, I'm not going to change for you, I'm not bending over backwards for you anymore, I'm done and over with. I think your focus is now your money, and I think your money right now is something that makes you very, very happy, and that is one of the reasons why you want to put all your effort into that. But Nine of Cups is also, also the energy of someone where it's like uh, in pursuit of your own happiness, wish fulfillment, okay? So I think with the Nine of Cups here, there's this sense of arrogance that I also get from you. But yes, it's also more like, why should I constantly focus on their happiness? Why not focus on what makes me happy? You, I like this card because I think you're being emotionally very, very independent. Your emotions, your happiness is no more dependent on this person. It was earlier, not anymore here. All right, let's see. Um, what's the three of swords in reverse here? Let's see this person. Three of swords in reverse. What's the three of swords in reverse? Ah, see, there's shut off the love out here. Hmm. okay maybe this person what i'm getting here is this person needs more time this person needs no more time now you know what happened what's happening here is this person wants a reconciliation with you okay but throughout this reading throughout this person's energy i'm seeing as this person here is not being able to do the right thing right thing i'm not talking about something which is logically right or something which is you know more like a karmic justice kind of right no right thing is that they don't they know what they need to do okay they are getting the intuition uh, they're getting the messages they're getting downloaded uh, this person is uh, know what to do but they're not doing it arrogance ego whatever negative self-talk is another thing i'm seeing here okay this person chooses to talk themselves down okay like they know that they want to be with you they know they're going to do something to come towards you but uh, they're choosing not to negative self-talk a lot of pessimistic talk a lot of pessimism past talks arguments conflicts they can't forget the way you guys spoke to each other or what you said to them they can't forget a lot of um, issues and conflicts between you both but they're emotionally shut down okay emotionally shut down they want a reconciliation but they're not open to having a new beginning right now because this person needs to heal they need to learn to love themselves first this person could also have a lot of low esteem low self-esteem issues and stuff like that i think this person for right now i think they have the clarity that they may not want to reconcile with you maybe this person needs that alone time right now okay that's what i'm getting here let's see what action do you plan on taking towards this person okay you don't want to work with them flat out flat out no what action does this person plan on taking towards you seven of pentacles yeah see that's what i'm saying this person needs time that's exactly what i said they need time out here they're waiting and watching contemplating okay like now right now it's like they're in this moment of like that the rest and rejuvenation more like wait and watch they've invested enough okay and they know this is a long-term investment now it's a point where everything's come to a halt out here okay it's like do i want to continue this do i want to put in the effort and reach that ten of pentacles or reach that point of commitment with scorpio or do i want to completely just hold back and let this be like a gone show all right you are the other 
other hand here i feel like you are not wanting to compromise you know like i said right you're both in the same energies right now none of you are wanting to reconcile your focus is your money your career your goals you're being greedy with your energies and you're just like you know what if it's not working out that's all right i'm just gonna keep moving ahead keep looking ahead they're more like still stuck on you okay because they can't forget what happened between you both but when it comes to reconciliation there are chances this person is not in the mood of reconciling as yet here okay why is the high priestess in reverse Hmm. See, they're feeling so left out, but that's the, it's like the, um, <laughs> it's uh, like that arrogance is what I'm getting from this person. So ego, arrogance, whatever, which is stopping them from coming towards you. You know, th they're very lonely without you. And that's the truth that has been revealed to them, that they're nothing without you. They're very lonely without you. But when it comes to take action, they're still thinking about it. They want to wait because they're shut off emotionally, right? What's the point? So don't even try to approach this person. I know you're not. But if any of you are wanting to approach this person for right now, wait, let them heal. If they don't learn to love themselves, they're not going to learn to love you. And they're probably going to repeat the same cycle with you again, which you don't really want here. Right now, I feel that they're probably just wanting to stay alone, take some time off. Probably they're not even socializing or they're just not in any mood of being into a romantic connection okay let's see the outcome here we're going to take the outcome from both the sides wow page of cups with the strength here this person is definitely going to come towards you now either there is new love coming towards you which i don't feel is uh really it could be but i feel there's an apology here coming towards you by the end of 18 july 2021 again this is a uh, tarot right it's all predictable okay so it may not happen on the 18th it may happen next week may happen after two weeks whatever but this is telling me that someone out here is you know coming towards you with an apology okay and uh this person out here is going to come towards you with that communication see i think this person also fears rejection somewhere somehow okay they're going to come towards you with that wait and watch energy out here they're contemplating so that which means that they haven't given up on you as yet all right but with ace of swords here i do see that there are chances that this person will come towards you want to communicate and there's some emotional offer coming in emotional communication coming in Yes, there is an opportunity here where you both can get together in the same page. Not yet a reconciliation, I'd say. But with the three of pentacles in reverse on your side, I don't think you're wanting to work with this person anymore, at least for right now. And I think that's what's holding them back because they're not sure if you're going to reject them or if you're going to give them another chance out here. But with the strength here, there are chances you may hold back. You may hold back is what I'm getting. What's the strength in reverse here? What's the strength in reverse? Yeah, I feel that there could there, there could be chances where communication may not move forward, okay, between you both. Why? Because you don't want to give in to temptation, guys. You get what I'm saying? You could have gone through a lot of cycles with this person out here, and this time when they come back around, right, you're like, you know what, I've seen that before, and I'm not falling for that shit again. And that's what I'm getting here. Because see, this time there's so much of willingness on your side, right? And you clearly know that leaving this person and coming out of that stuck and stagnant energy where you chose to be stuck. Probably this person didn't ask you to wait. Probably they gave you a closure. Probably they told you to move on. And you were, uh, you, um, how do I say that? What's that word? Um, you deliberately put yourself in a, a spot of being on hold. All right. And now probably you're regretting it. And you're like, you know what? I don't want to waste my time anymore. You're shut down to this person out here or shut down or moving on from a person who is just not there for you when you wanted them. Okay. See, this person has a lot of emotional problems also. They need to work on those emotional issues is what I'm getting here. I feel they're coming in, but there are chances you may resist this person or you may just not respond, like flat out ignore them. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below. I love, love, love to uh, hear from you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And I'll see you next time.